Hello everybody, it's Grim Fables, and the actual job trailer dropped not too long ago for Endwalker. I watched it live, it was really, really fun, but um, as you might notice, we have a tier list in front of us because everything needs a rating these days, and I wanted to quickly make one because uh, somebody asked the question, where would you rate it? Where would you rate some of the jobs? And uh, yeah, I figured I would make it into a video, why not? Uh, so let's quickly get into it, because uh, spending too much time rambling up front is probably not what you want to hear. So, uh, we'll go with Paladin. We're going to go Paladin with A tier. Um, essentially, in, in sort of actions that we've seen so far, um, outside of the Confidior combo, Paladin didn't get a lot of new things. I think they got like one action that was new. Um, that's not bad because what they got in terms of the Confidior combo, which is just essentially, it looks like a continuation after Confidior. So I'm, I'm really happy that they, they got something like that afterwards. So yeah, it, it looks really cool. Um, I play a lot of Paladin, so very happy with that. It, it definitely, if they, if there's not one, not one action in there called Lost Judgment, I, or Judgment Blade, I would be very unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> because I love Agrius from Final Fantasy Tactics and she deserves her love for being one of the OG paladins that they take some stuff from. Especially considering she also appears in Final Fantasy XIV in the Ivalice raids. A uh, warrior. That one gets a B tier. I, listen, I primarily play warrior all the time. And I'll be honest, they didn't get a lot of new things. I, th I think I saw like three new actions and the big one was really just a flip with a, a smash, which it looks cool. It looks really, really cool, right? But it doesn't look like the identity of Warrior has changed at all. And I kind of was hoping for a bit of an identity change considering it's kind of play the same since Heaven's Ward. So we, we're getting less Felk leaves, but we're getting cooler actions instead. Um, yeah, I mean, Warrior just kind of falls into a B here. Uh, same thing with Dark Knight. Dark Knight didn't get a super huge amount of new things. I love the fact that ha uh, the Assaulted Earth is now actually placed by you just below you all the time. So you don't need to macro it all the time because uh, Yoshi said that even he recognizes that a lot of uh, players just macro that button instead of actually placing it because it's so much easier. But yeah, um, again, Dark Knight did not get a lot of new things. In fact, I think I saw the ticking of the uh, gauge once you activate the uh, Living Shadow. That's still not changed, so that's a big bummer in my opinion. Uh, Gunbreaker. I actually liked Gunbreaker. Uh, it got some really, really nice new things. Uh, the fact that the Powder Gauge has now got an extra one in there. Um, I will say that uh, Gunbreaker just barely edges out because of the fact that I have an extended interest in Gunbreaker, so I was a bit more hyped for that one. Um, and then making some of the, the changes to uh, Gnashing Fang combo, that one was something that I really, really asked for. So it gets that little extra nudge into A tier. It sh it's basically like a B plus A minus. So that's, that's where it falls for me, at least personally. Um, I really liked white mage i like the fact that they place down uh this this sort of totem people call it like a, a a shaman totem shaman water totem i don't know what that means i i assume that's from world of warcraft i i genuinely do not know but if 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 it's something good then hey it's something good and i can't complain right so uh, i i hope it's good uh the actions that it got were very very good looking at least um i don't know how they are stat wise or how useful they are but yeah um we might as well name this entire tier scholar scholar got a sprint I, I, I don't know how to make that sound any better. Um, we did not see it use any of its Aether Flow Gauge. We, do, we did not see it do any fairy actions. Uh, I think we saw it do maybe two, but it's... it's Scholar got very, very little. Um, hopefully this changes, or maybe we're just not seeing the full picture and they're just doing like inherent mechanic changes, if you know what I mean. Because Sage is a combat-based barrier healer which would then make me believe that Scholar still fits the Barry Healer, but they gotta change some things around to be able to match the Sage. I don't know, it, it felt very lackluster. Uh, A. Astrologian got some really, really, really cool stuff. 
Um, I like the fact that they had some sort of like star shower ish button for a little bit. So that was really, really cool. Uh, it looks like you can spread some of the card ac card actions again, which is also something that I asked for. Not sure if I was right with that, but <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying I liked what I saw. Um, doesn't look like a lot of its identity has changed super, super hard, aside from the fact that the sect is now gone. Um, it's now just permanently diurnal sect, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure because I'm not too great with the sect uh, stuff, like the stances. But, it, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's willing to make that sacrifice to be the supportive uh, end to white mage, whereas scholar is also the supportive end to sage because they need a buffer and they need a pure healer. So I, I'm pretty sure that's how they would go uh sage i look it's a new job it's a bunch of new stuff i like what i saw i like the fact that it's they're a combat oriented healer uh it's basically what we asked from chemist where they are going to heal through uh, we asked it from chemist and we asked it from dancer originally because we thought dancer was going to be a healer as well and uh they they got that they got the combat based healing um a lot of the actions look really really cool like i said and i can't wait to see what the future holds for them uh, above Paladin, can we just move Paladin? Yeah, there we go. Monk is essentially exactly what I was looking for, although not entirely. I was looking for the polyglot mechanic. They did not give us, uh, they did not give us the polyglot mechanic, but they got us something very, very nice instead, which was essentially a sort of mini mudra system. And I'm a big fan of that because it looked like with every single strain of inputs, you get a different action. And that essentially requires you with with perfect balance to input those and execute an action. It's 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 really great. I really like it. I personally am a big fan of how they did that. Um, I'm never I was never a big fan of perfect balance anyway, because perfect balance, in my opinion, was the thing that made the job so clunky. I don't know if anybody else felt that because there's a lot of different opinions about what makes the job so clunky clunky. But for me, it was perfect balance. So I'm, I'm glad that they kind of sorted that way and made it into a workable mechanic. Uh, Six Eyes Star is still there. Anathema is still there for whatever reason. Um, I don't know. I, I, I will never be putting Anathema on my hotbar again. <laughs> so uh, let's grab Dragoon. Dragoon will be between Gunbreaker and Astro. Uh, it did not get a lot of new things. Uh, I liked the, the, the new Cherry Blossom attack that they have. I don't remember the name at the moment. And the dual dragons was very, very cool. Um, not a whole lot of new things and a whole lot of identity changing things. We did not see dragon sight, but I'm pretty sure they just omitted the in showing that because of the fact like, oh, you already know it's going to have dragon sight. If it got rid of it, that would kind of suck. But uh, usually they show this kinds of things. But yeah, um, Dragoon is still Dragoon. There's not a whole lot of, new, a lot of new things to say about it. I still think it's a really pretty and well-designed job, and it's probably going to be even better now. It's already been uh, pretty high up, in my opinion, on the, the AoE fun type of stuff. Like, it, it gets a lot of fun AoE combos, and now if the uh, new twin dragon mechanic, like the, the shooting that out uh, of the two dragons, if that's also a part of the AoE combo or the AoE mechanics like Nastrand and stuff like that, and Gears Google, then I believe that that is only going to make the job more fun. Uh, the fact that they got rid of Blood of the Dragon is also really, really good. So, Ninja. <laughs> you already know where Ninja is going to go. That's just an immediate S tier. Uh, I feel like it even goes above Sage because the things that we enjoyed about Ninja are still there. It's still a very, very fun and fluid job. But the fact that there's now like this massive, it's just flashy as hell, isn't it? it, it you, you go out you have this sort of clone dash up with this wind attack then you have another thunder attack and then a thunder punch um, I hope that's with different elements that it's not just thunder so that you can kind of apply to whichever element like maybe it's random but if it is just thunder that's fine too it just looked really really cool um, I'm pretty sure that it, knowing ninja and knowing the way that the name thing is probably going to be right in punch or something so yeah, but really, really cool stuff. Can't can't complain. No one should complain. Uh, Samurai, you're going to go here. I look. <laughs> I was OK ish impressed with Samurai. Actually, I think it will go right here. Oh, I'm going to put it in B upper B 
because what it got was essentially a third Midari that is going to, from what I could see, it's going to combine Higabana, um, the AOE one, and Midari. And looks cool. It's a cool concept, but it's nothing new. It's nothing inherently that we haven't seen before. It's not, you know, job breakingly cool. That makes me want to drop, uh, I don't know, like it, the way that I look at it is like, okay, well, if I compare the jobs, which one would want to be, would want to make me play it the most? And I look at Ninja, I look at Monk, and I look at Dragoon, and I look at Reaper and Samurai. Just if 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 I was based uh, basing it all on looks and how animations and battle effects it looked, I can't say that Samurai would be high up there anymore, which is almost a shame. But I don't play much Samurai as is, so yeah. Uh, Reaper, I look, it's an S tier. It's gonna go right there along with Sage. Um, actually, I believe I would like Sage a tiny bit more, but that's because I'm a little biased. It's my tier, uh, tier list, I don't care. Uh, Reaper was very, very flashy. Um, can't complain at all with what they've done with Reaper. Uh, I, I like the teleport-ish, warp-ish system. Uh, it's a new type of mobility, and I feel like that's very, very welcome in a game like Final Fantasy XIV, because that's always been something that felt odd that we didn't have that before, uh, considering some other games have so stuff like that. Uh, I believe that, for example, Vindictus has something like that, and that was I, I felt like a nice touch in there. Um, it's... What, what I mean with uh, I'm surprised that we did have something like that before is it, it makes it very intuitive because essentially we've always had two buttons to go like, OK, we're going in, we're going out, right? Like um, elusive jump for Dragoon and then any of the jumps to bring you back in. That isn't the uh, high jump because high jump brings you back to your original location. But um, that, that basically was a way to quickly get out and get in. And um, it always consumed two actions. Having it only be one now, I feel like is a very nice touch. Uh, Reaper having all of the, the first it had like a sort of charge consume system, which with like six charges and then it gets the possession combo essentially uh, with a, on a very, very low cooldown. I feel like it's very, very fast. I It, it says that it has a, a few buffs for the team, whether or not it's true, I'm not sure but I'm hoping it's true. I can't say much, but Reaper looked cool. Just basing it on the trailer, it looked cool. Um, I will put you right in the center. I was really excited for anything Bard related because the fact that I play Bard, I play Bard a lot and I can't complain about Bard. Um, the fact that Bard got sort of a follow-up to Apex Era, which is what something that I called for is very, very nice. Uh, the changes to the, to the, um, to Minuet, Ballad, and Peon is cool, but I'm slightly wary of it. Um, if, if it basically means that during this period, like after we've consumed all those, those stances, we get one big buff period. Um, I feel like that's very nice. I think that's kind of what I asked for in my, my wish list video, which is, um, if you do this like basically if you apply the first apex arrow a buff would sort of start ticking if you get apex arrow within a certain amount of time um you would proc it and then you'd get a big buff for the party or a big buff for yourself it's kind of met so kind of happy with that choice i just like bard i <laughs> there's not a lot to say about it uh machinist you're going to see okay i understand that uh machinist already got a big job change in um in Shadowbringers, and a lot of people, when they look then at uh, at Endwalker, and they're like, "Well, they wouldn't do anything big to Machinist." That's not mutually exclusive, and Summoner exists because of the fact that there was already like a big new thing at its like it, basically Summoner gets something new big every. This is big foreshadowing as to what happens, of course, because if I could make an S tier plus like list right now, Summoner would instantly go there, but. The problem is with Machinist is just it got like a couple of actions. Um, the ticking of the gauge isn't changed. I d didn't see a lot of changes that really make me go, wow, this makes me want to pick up uh, Machinist at all. Like w when I look at what they give Bard, when I look at what they give Dancer, Machinist just fell to the wayside and it's it's just got a chainsaw and uh, which is a big thing. A chainsaw is a big thing, right? But it, it just got this this sort of shooting of what was it like stars essentially like shurikens 
and it got a couple of other things but like one other action that we saw at least um and wildfire looked a lot shorter hopefully um oh and then the automaton queen also got like a big new wind up punch um which i think was new it didn't look like the same one we had before maybe it's just a changed animation maybe i'm just being dumb but i cannot say that i'm excited for machinist same thing with scholar but i never touched scholar much in the beginning so i can't really say much uh let's go with dancer just quickly stepping over that one to go into here i liked what dancer showed inherently mechanically they did not really discuss what i think like i don't think they discussed what it got added um it, it felt like a new additional effect to dance i don't know if that's true or not and the fact that they're going to streamline some of the cooldowns is obviously like a big thing as well to sustain 120 seconds so that everybody who fits into the buff window is better um i feel like dancers also going to be attacked by that a little bit but yeah dancers just okay dancer looked kind of okay it, it's never flashy it's always pretty and you know it, it, it fulfilled that job <laughs> there's not a whole lot else to say there's new new gauges new nothing so <laughs> what do you do uh let's go with black mage black mage you're going up in you know what yeah let's put you in s tier uh i play quite a bit of black mage here and there just for the funs of it especially because it's quick for dungeon running um also that's like the only plus i see with scholar is that it's just a, a speed running dungeon thing but that's really it i can't see it being anything else um black mage a lot of the new actions um looked really really cool but i'm kind of worried if they kept fire 2 and blizzard 2 because you don't really need those anymore um so it's just kind of like we have a lot of buttons now and if you're a new player you feel like you might need to to bind every single one of those buttons which you don't like i i don't at least i i use f like flare and freeze so that, that just might be me that just might be me right uh, but the new actions that uh, Black Mage got and the the new sort of like weird gauge thing looks really, really cool. Um, no new way to uh, apply the, the polyglot stacks, but the fact that you can't drop an Okia now is very, very nice. That, I will say, is super, super nice. You can no longer drop an Okia. Cool. It happened to me sometimes because I was a little too risky with the timing. I, I liked risking the timings a little bit, kind of just, but it, yeah, it's, that's for then. Um, Summoner. Do I even need to tell you? This is why you probably came onto the video. You probably came on to see, hey, is Summoner up there? Yes, Summoner is 100% up there. Holy crap, is Summoner up there? Holy crap, is Summoner up there? Who is not excited to play Summoner? Finally, Summoner is what Summoner has been in all of the other iterations of Final Fantasy. A primal using, or at least like a, a, a summon using um, job, which I feel like the battleground is going to get very, very crowded. I really hope we can make their sizes smaller. Um, or at least they still appear as eggies, maybe to um, other people. Because this is very very large units that are suddenly going to appear um i would actually want to knock it down because it did not get a lot of new eggies they mentioned eggies i don't know if they mentioned it for glamour eggies i really want glamour eggies you promised them back at the end of heaven's word i think it was like 345 that you promised eggies we're now going into 6.0 and we still haven't had a new any new ones so please give us more but other than that, I can't knock. I can't knock Summoner. Summoner is just holy crap. You came onto this video most likely looking for Summoners. Like your Summoner E tier, yeah, it, it's S tier. It's S tier. Like, come on. <laughs> where was it? What else, where else was it gonna be? Where else was it gonna be? Come on. And then of course, finally, Red Mage. Uh, you know what? You know what? I, I'm being kind. I'm being a little kind. I'm just putting. I'm looking at it. What I have at A, and I'm a little bit more excited for Red Mage because the new gauge that it got at the bottom, um, I did not check what it does if they mentioned it, but it looked really, really cool. Um, it's got some really, really cool new actions, very pretty as well. The little like loop through rose shot thing looks really cool. I 
hope it does a lot of potency because if you hit that thing and it crits direct hits and it looks as pretty as it does you cannot tell me that that's not the most satisfying thing out of that job now like that's that's pff, looks really cool um still kind of surprised that they they hadn't updated the melee combo a little bit but that could just be me maybe they'll make it into a one button thing that could be fun or at least like good to reduce some of the buttons but aside from that yeah uh this is basically the tier list this is what i think that the job actions tier list has shown me from each job um do you disagree you probably disagree you probably think there's more that belongs in this b tier over here that's entirely fine um you can do what you want but you can discuss it with me in the comments you're more than welcome to if you want to and you're more than welcome to just leave it at that if you are just a viewer regardless my name is grim fables i thank you very much for sticking through this probably 20 minute video because most of these end up being around 20 minutes and i really 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 i'm looking forward to end walker now for anything but the story because <laughs> i am not that excited for the story the job ch the job changes are what i'm looking forward to anyway I hope to see you in the next video. Check some, check out some of the other videos that I've got. Or check whatever the outro recommends to you. Because it recommends something recommended for you. Anyway, I will see you next time.